Abby. Yep. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hi, Marianne. How are you? Hi, doing well, thank you. So how do you have that nifty background? Uh, virtual. I uh, paid for an application. So whatever, whatever I'm using, if it was Zoom, uh, go to webinar, Google Meet, whatever, I can use any background. I can even use an avatar. Okay. <laughs> Let me see. What is going on with my YouTube channel? Hold on. First time to use this. So let's see what's going on here. Well, I'm going to go over on another screen and see. It's the only one that's saying we're not broadcasting. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. All right. Let me. Hmm. I'll just email these guys. Let's see if they are around. Okay. <clears throat> So theoretically, we're going to be live on LinkedIn and Facebook. So, okay. Okay. is that you or somebody else logging in? Um, um, I have no idea. I can't see. <laughs> it says no comments yet. So, okay. So how's your week been, Gabby? You've been busy? Busy, busy, busy. <laughs> yeah. So um, tell me about what, so you can work with CPAs in certain states. Are you working on Texas? Uh, not yet. We're still trying to reach Texas. I don't know uh, who we need to still contact. I've tried through LinkedIn, through emails, through the website. I still didn't get any answer from Texas. Okay. Huh. But we're working now for the Ohio, Maryland, um, Michigan, Montana, and we are in the process of finalizing things with Indiana, New York, uh, Florida, California, and a couple of other states. But it's summer, most of them are off, and right. things are being, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And slow low too, yeah. Yeah. So isn't the uh, Texas CPA their main offices? Aren't they in Dallas? I have no idea. I, I think they are. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to work with as many states as possible. So mm -hmm. it's impossible to keep everything in your head. <laughs> oh, I know. Yeah. Well, it's uh, there are some people I've talked to who have maybe their license in Michigan. I'll pick up Michigan. And... Um, you know, that, that may be reciprocal with Texas. So, you know, there may be some people for you there too. Oh, perfect. Actually, even if they are in Texas, uh, most of the CPA program is not related to the state. Only the regulation part, part of it is affected by the state regulation. But the auditing and other uh, topics are general uh, across all states. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right. So wherever they are, they can still take the program or at, le at least it's four parts. So they can still take three out of four okay uh, so yeah it's it's compatible with anyone around the world okay you don't have to be in a specific state yeah good and so what is your are you going to talk about what we think um you know what is the um you know the the advantage of being a cma you know what um are you going to I can. Well, whatever, actually, whatever comes to your mind, Marianne, just drop the question. I'll be more than happy to answer it. I don't need mm -hmm. to prepare it. Okay. All yeah. right. Good, so good. whenever you want to go live, just let me know. So. Well, we're going to wait until 1130 because that's when, you know, it's supposed to, okay. you know, that's when people are checking in. Okay. And, uh, and it will be reposted or actually it will be uploaded on YouTube, right? Yeah. Yeah. 
if we're not live now and I've sent them a note, um, yeah, they say they're in Austin, but I think that's just their address. <laughs> um, So is there any, he is stating, I don't know, it's Florida live, but I don't think we are live. I don't know. Yeah. Um, hmm, hmm. Let's see what's going on with me. Hmm. This is my first time to use it for a broadcast with another person. Oh, I see. Yeah. So it's always worked when I've done it as an individual. Mm -hmm. Ah, let me go up here and see if there's anything. And it might. Hmm. To. I'm afraid to log off and start over to see if um, it's worth if we can get it to log into to YouTube. So we'll just it'll it'll be recorded and then like I said I'll upload it. Now I can share a screen if we need to. I'm gonna mm -hmm. need to figure out where our call to actions are. Okay, we've got you already added. Um, hmm, where are gonna my call to actions going to be? We're recording now so that okay. we've got it. And hmm, I uploaded it, so that was kind of cool. Mm -hmm. hmm, oh, what? Got it that way. Hmm. Okay, I think I like it this best. Okay. And hmm. all right, eleven twenty-seven. Okay. Yeah, I just wanted to get on with you as early as possible in case we had any bigger. And so maybe with uh, YouTube, it's not going to start saying we're live until the actual time it's scheduled. So okay. I, anyway, and you can still add it to trade later. You can yeah. Oh, yeah. Later. yeah. So I appreciate you being a good sport. I said this yesterday in the email. It's like, yeah, let's try it. <laughs> yeah, no, 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 don't worry. I, I, actually, whenever I'm trying something, sometimes things work and it's a learning process. So oh, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's been a rather productive wait week at um, MAM Recruiting, so I'm excited about that. Great. It's always about making new friends. And I've just been, you know, I loved seeing the uh, email you sent to the IMA board in Dallas because you have yeah. so much to offer in terms of training. Yeah. I'm getting pings. I don't know where they're coming from. Okay, that would be something over here. Okay, someone on, thank you, Narissa Harlan, very much. We're broadcasting on LinkedIn, so they're hearing us. <laughs> and 11.29, we will start in just a moment. And so I think when we get started, Gabby, just tell us a little bit about your, you know, where you started in your career. I think you started in auditing and yeah. what, what, attracted you to the CMA. Let's oh, see. sure. Would you like to start now? Well, it's 11.29. Let's count, count, count. Let's give it a couple of more minutes. Yeah. Yeah. Just a couple of more seconds. Thank you again, Narissa Harlan, for letting me know that you can hear us. <laughs> She's like going, God, Marianne's just rattling on. Yeah. I've sat through a lot of um, IMA presentations <clears throat> for CPE in Dallas, and I always learned something. All right, it's 1130, everyone. 
Thank you for joining us, 1130 Central United States time. And I'm Mary Ann Markowitz, and I'm a past president of the Dallas IMA chapter, and I'm excited to have met Gabby Lahoud. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Um, CMA, C he has so many certifications, but today's <laughs> purpose of the call is we're going to talk about specifically the CMA, what the benefits are, what attracted him to it, and he has built a career around training. I hope I'm. Um, you can correct me on this. Um, inter international board with IMA, correct? Right. Yep. Yeah. So he is infinitely um, qualified to share with us about the benefits of the CMA and um, how his company can help you with studying for it and. You mentioned, Gabby, that there are some people who have taken the test many times and just gave up. I know some of those people in Dallas. Yeah. <laughs> so hopefully they will see this um, replay if they're not here live. And with that, I'm going to turn it over to you, Gabby, and, and you just start there and then I'll come in with more questions. Perfect. Thank you very much, Marianne. Let me first introduce myself. My name is Gabriel Ahoud. Uh, as uh, Marianne stated, I earned multiple certification uh, throughout my career. And uh, uh, luckily, I was able to stumble into, into the CMA certification because first I had the CFA and the MBA and everybody was telling me why you want to go for the CMA certification since you already have a finance certification and you have an MBA at the same time. And to be honest with you, back then, my answer was that my brother went, I'm, I'm trying to push my brother to go into a certification and I saw that the CMA fits his career path. And the only uh, way my brother was, go, was going to pursue the CMA is that if I supported him and I did it as well. That's so great. I, yeah, we need a buddy sometimes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, hundred percent. So it wasn't actually a plan to go through the CMA, but actually God works in mysterious ways. I went through the CMA certification, I got it, and then it turned out to be one of the best certifications because it, it provided me with an opportunity to give back to the community through volunteering, and that that's what I knew about the CMA chapters. And back in my original country, my home country, Lebanon, we didn't have a chapter, so everybody just didn't want to do anything for free. So I started a chapter and we had 500 members back then. Uh, that was around 2016. And then I started supporting uh, also other chapters around the world, including the Middle East, Africa, and India regions in specifically. And I was part of the council. Then I started promoting the CMA in Eastern Europe. Uh, also, I traveled with IMA to many countries around the world. And it gave me the opportunities not only to add value to many people's lives, guide them, uh, and create more awareness on the importance of the CMA. But I also got the opportunity to be part of the global board of directors here in New Jersey as well. And that also gave me the opportunity to visit the U.S. more often. And that's how mm -hmm. I met my wife and I got married. So, oh, cool. so, so yeah, yeah, yep, yep. the A CMA has been amazing. There. Yep, 100%. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. uh, and um, then I, uh, I, I, I've been training for more than 15 years now. My main uh, career is in consulting. I started as a junior accountant. I, was, I worked with auditing firms, with international organizations, mm -hmm. until I reached the level of a CFO. Then I decided to become an entrepreneur and start my own consultancy business eight years ago. Mm -hmm. But throughout this period, I was training. I was... Uh, uh, teaching the CFA, the CMA, more than 17 different topics in accounting and finance and management on a BA and MBA level. And eventually I decided along with IMA to start the online training for B Certified Pro. And that's how B Certified Pro was created. It wasn't okay. the first time I do this type of training, but it was a collaboration with IMA to help those who are struggling, those who are giving up, as you stated, Marianne. Mm -hmm. And it has been a success since then. So, so can uh, I jump in? So, yeah, I think we we know that you're infinitely um, qualified to be here. And again, thank you. Can you address for an an accounting professional who you know it's like, oh, I just don't want to do the CPA. 
I hear that a lot, especially with all of the changes. It's it's changing so much. It's like I'm I'll, I'll wait until the dust settles here in Texas. <laughs> but but what is to to you? What does the CMA bring to you as an individual, regardless of if corporate America is still a hundred percent up to speed on it? Is that a, is that a fair question? Like, wh what does it give you as an individual? that you can then take to your job and be more efficient and, and engaging and all of that? Uh, great question, Marianne. And actually, I always compare the CMA to the CPA and the CFA, specifically that I have a CFA and the project management. So when I went through the CFA, I was mostly interested in analysis and investment. And I work with auditing companies, but to be honest with you, if, if you don't want to be an external auditor and get the license, so the CPA is just a lot of work, a lot of investment, a lot of time for something that will not add value to your career if you want to be in corporate America, as you stated. Mm -hmm. So if you want to be working with any corporation, you need to be able ba to balance between uh, decision making, between understanding finance, between understanding auditing, between... Uh, making better decisions and the only certification around the world that I found valuable to anyone who want to work in a corporation is the CMA certification and mm -hmm. actually the answer is simply in the topics that are discussed or actually they are taught and you need to be tested on between CMA part one and part two so everyone in an organization still struggles in understanding how to increase the value of what they are offering to the company at the, at the same time to themselves. That's number one. And how right. they can get promoted faster. And the best way to get promoted is to understand how to make better decisions. If it mm -hmm. was on a career level, on a, on, or on a personal level. And actually that's a section, a full section in the CMA, decision analysis and decision making. Mm -hmm. and it, it provides a balance between auditing, accounting, finance, management, ethics, and technology. So when, when you step in, you're, you're not just learning accounting as mm -hmm. when you go to a university and you learn mainly accounting. And right. it's not the auditing as what you learn mostly. Definitely the CFA, CPA includes a lot of uh, other topics as business, as regulation, and so on. But still it is only specific for those who want to pursue an auditing career. What about those who want to be a CFO or a finance manager or an accounting manager mm -hmm. or a consultant or an advisor? So, well, and, and with your privately held companies, which we have so many, and, um, you know, so, yeah, there's, there's, um, the, the, yeah, I love everything you've said. And it, it helps that accountant have the acumen to talk with operations, you know, across <laughs> functional right definitely and be yeah. able to get promoted faster and be mm -hmm. able to speak with uh, sub, uh third parties shareholders suppliers customers so it provides a lot of value actually and i've okay. seen it many CP cma candidates around the world well and that leads us to um so what are well that's why you're so important because there are so many moving parts to getting that certification, which is why many people do just throw in the towel and say, no, oh, I learned a lot. <laughs> but then tell me about your programs and how, um, you know, what is the training that you offer briefly? And for, for this session, we're just going to focus on the CM, CMA. He, Gabby has many other things um, for us, but we're just, for now, we're just focusing on, on the CMA. So, so tell us a little bit about how you, help somebody get over that finish line. Oh, perfect. Definitely. I have a lot of stories on that. So uh, <laughs> the idea came after I've been training the CMA for many years with many organizations around the world. And what they missed is that they are just teaching and we don't want to teach actually the, the topic itself. And that's it. We want to provide value. When I help candidates to learn how to study, that's a big problem. People don't know how to study. They just open the book and they just reading, start reading and they read it, read it, read it until they memorize it. But then they go to the exam and fail. Mm -hmm. So our program is designed uh, in a way that ensures the candidate pass the CMA exam with flying colors, assuming that they follow our strategy. So yeah. number one is that our program is designed in a 
smart way where we break down complex topics by providing examples, problem solving, by telling stories, storytelling, and by providing them with slides that we created uh, internally mm -hmm. that they can go through and understand, can see the big picture. Mm -hmm. We provide strategies. So in every session, we provide them with strategies on how to approach each topic how to understand each, each topic, how to be able to connect the dots, which will make it easier for them to retain this information and remember it on the exam. Mm -hmm. Number two, in every session, we solve with them some of the multiple choice questions to tell them that, listen, that's what we learned today, and that's how it will come on the exam. And we, we rely on uh, retired past IMA exams. So IMA has provided, them, uh, provided us with those. So our using actual cases that came on previous CMA exams. Okay. On top of that, we follow up with them on a weekly basis. So every week we send them, this is what you're gonna study. This is how you're gonna study it. And this is what you're gonna be practicing for this week. So you are ready for the next week. So we work with them step by step. And we have a lot of strategies that we discuss. Mm -hmm. Even on, on top of that, there's an open Q and A in every session. So they can ask as many questions. We ask yeah. them questions. And that's when we learn. Yeah, we yeah. were in that group session. Yeah. 100%. And we ask them questions and we force everybody to uh, to interact and to answer, not just, okay, I'm listening and I'm getting mm -hmm. bored. Mm -hmm. uh, on top of that, at the end of the program, we have a four-hour training session. That's purely problem solving for part mm -hmm. one and four hours for CMA part two. So around eight hours in total that is dedicated only to multiple choice and essay practice so that we ensure that everybody is understanding. We, we work with them on time management. We work on them in details, what they should be doing uh, the, the last four weeks before the exam, what they should be doing on the day of the exam, what they should be doing throughout the exam and what they should avoid doing. We even discuss with them what they need to eat and drink so that they have energy and they don't need to visit the restroom more That's often. Awesome. Yeah. yeah, and, and you know, visiting the restroom will take off your time. So every time you need to visit the restroom on the exam day, that's right. time that's lost. And people don't think about these small details. We go mm -hmm. with, we, we go that far with every candidate to ensure that they understand. And actually, we even offer. That's how much we trust our program. Mm -hmm. We even offer a hundred dollar <laughs> cash back once they pass one of the two exams. That's number yeah. one, so that they can celebrate. Number two, if if and only if they were they had an emergency they couldn't finish the program or they went through the exam and they didn't pass we offer a free option to reattend the upcoming training for free no charges everything is on us wow yep that's amazing um wow <laughs> that's even more than i expected i you know i was going to say it sounds like a complete brain hack and, and it is but to give them you know, what to eat, to have the energy and the stamina, you've covered it all. Yeah. Yep. Awesome. And do you want to share, because I want to keep this at, you know, roughly 30 minutes. And my apologies, I hear pings coming in. This is the first time for me to use this tool to um, interview Gabby. And so I hear you, but I can't see you. So we'll work on that for the next time. So thank you, everybody, for being good sports. Um, but uh, so you've covered how your, your program adds value. You've covered how, you know, what the CMA can do for you. Um, you've covered your, your structure pretty much. Um, so what, give me a couple of um, your favorite examples of testimonials. Oh, perfect, yeah. Uh, we also have a lot of those from different countries around the world. Uh, one of them uh, actually created a long-term relationship. I had a CFO, which is also a vice president of a big company in Philly, in Philadelphia, in uh, Pennsylvania. And uh, he was struggling to trying to balance between the responsibilities of his work and his family. And he was trying to go through the CMA exam and we he was always uh, not getting lucky. So eventually he gave up. But IMA once sent a big uh, email campaign to all of the CMA candidates. And he saw that campaign and said, okay, let me try Gabby's program. Let me try Be Certified Pro program. Mm -hmm. And actually that was the best thing he did. He When he went, uh, went into the, our program, we guided him and he passed from the first attempt after he took the program with us, definitely not from previous attempt. CMA part one and part two. And eventually he got 
so excited that we encouraged him to do the CSCA. Back then, we didn't offer the CSCA training, so we helped them and we guided him for free without any charges. And he also became a CSCA professional as well. And uh, now we're working on multiple projects together as well. Cool. Congratulations. So I have a question for you. Yeah. When you just you wake up in the morning and go, I'm going to get the CMA, how long should they expect the process to take beginning to end? Oh, that's a very important question. Now, whoever <laughs> tells you, yeah, that actually that's that's the fine line between passing and failing. Okay. And the issue is that everybody is guiding them that you, you can do the program in 18 months. Actually, this is what will get you to fail the exam if you're going to take 18 months. The problem mm -hmm. is the CMA program is not hard. It's not rocket science. But there's a lot of info. If you're going to take it slow, once you once four or five months pass, you're going to forget everything you studied. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. That's going to be a roller coaster, and then you're going to keep postponing your exam date. And eventually, either you're going to give up or you're not going to be ready. Okay. And my advice, keep it as short as possible. It, it's better to, to suffer in a couple of months than to suffer a couple of years. So our program is designed to, to take around uh, six, uh, six weeks, around a month and a half for each part. We advise everybody to keep following our strategy throughout these six months. Mm -hmm. uh, dedicate as much time and we also provide also strategies on how to benefit from five minutes to study and what to do in the morning, what to do throughout the day and in the evening so that you can always catch up even if you are overwhelmed with work. Mm -hmm. So do this six weeks. Be ready, then take maximum a maximum another six weeks to catch up, to study, to fill the gaps and to practice. And we'll also provide strategies for the last four weeks mm -hmm. and go for the exam. So yeah. each exam should not take more than three to four months maximum. And this way, within eight months, you can finish both, uh, both parts, get certified, become a CMA, and then concentrate more on your work and how to get promoted and get a bigger oh, yeah. salary. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, that's so encouraging because you're right. I mean, I, uh, and okay. So then tell me about your um, training because you mentioned this when we were getting to know each other, that if let's say you're one of those that invested in, you name the, the materials that are out there, right? Yeah. But yeah. yours works with anything that they've owned, right? Oh, like yeah. lime or whatever. So, so address that for us for some of those that, that spent a lot of money but haven't had any value. Oh yeah, <laughs> actually most of, of our candidates are from this type of uh, candidates. So uh, actually our agreement with IMA was not to favor any course provider. Okay. And Siri got Which I don't know why. Uh, sorry, I'm using Mac and it's connected to my phone. Everything got Siri. <laughs> Uh, maybe she wants to, she wanted to answer that question. So our, our, our agreement was uh, to create a program that is compatible with any course provider. Again, our mission was to help everybody pass. So if you're using Lime, Backer, Wiley, UWorld, Surgeon, it doesn't matter what course provider you are using. Our program is compatible with any course provider. So if you already invested a lot of money, you don't have to pay again more money because I see a lot of candidates that said, I bought this course provider, I didn't pass, I tried another course provider, I didn't pass. Either they lack the self-discipline to, to go through the program on their own as self-study. Oh yeah, or, that's just team yeah, or they management, Definitely, or they have questions that nobody's able to answer and they just waste a lot of time trying to figure things out. Mm -hmm. So uh, if anybody has already material, they can just up into the live training. That's it. Okay. So we provide the slides for free with that program, uh, the summarized slides, which are our slides. But definitely they are not enough. They still need full, they still need material, they, they still need practice. So we do not compete with any available course provider in the market. We complement them. We, we close the gap. We ensure everybody pass. They already invested a lot of time in the exams and mm -hmm. the material. So every time they fail one exam, that's 400 something dollars that they have to pay for the exam. So right. why you keep training and wasting your time and wasting your money? Opt into a training 
and we can guide you and we will save you that money in the future. So actually mm -hmm. we're investing to fast, to save time and to save money in the future. Okay. So if, if anybody wants to opt into uh, the full package, they don't have material. We have a strategic partnership with Glim, And if they already have Glim and they want other material, we also have agreements with Hawk International, with Wiley, with UWorld. So also they can opt into those material. We can provide them at a discount since we have an agreement with them and we are bundling it with our training or okay. they can just opt into the training if they already have material. So yeah. we provide a flexible program. And again, I, I forgot to mention that. Our program run to, to, at, two, at two separate times. Okay. At 11 a.m. Eastern time for those who are in Europe, in the Middle East, in uh, in the Eastern side or the Central side of the U.S. and they can do some training in the morning. Mm -hmm. And we have an evening session that start at 8 p.m. Eastern time to support those who live in California, for example, it, it's going to be around 5 yeah. p.m. time and people can or candidates can jump into the morning or the evening. If they had a problem with one of their session and they are in the evening, they can just send an email to support and they will shift them to the evening session so they don't miss any session. So we have yeah. also a flexible training program. Yeah, so yeah, I mean, you that's why I wanted to connect with you. I just felt like um, introducing you to, you know, the, the Texas audience because of my, uh, you know, email list <laughs> that they'll be in good hands, yeah, right? Yeah. yeah, so I have a um link, I don't know how to send it to you guys, um, but I did put in there if uh, you're live with us. Um, Gabby, you have a, a little offer for anybody who wants to join you. So share with me what that is. And then if some, if anybody's interested, so, you know, after this, um, recording, watching this, send me a note via LinkedIn or wherever you are, and, um, I'll send you, uh, Gabby's offer. Oh, perfect. Uh, currently, we are offering a 25% off on all CMA packages, live training or full packages. However, okay. anyone who comes through you or through this specific event or uh, live that we're going through, or even if they watch the video later, they can drop us an email. They can email you. They can send you on, uh, on LinkedIn or they can email me just stating that we've watched that and we want additional discount and we are okay. willing to give an additional 10 or 15 discounts. So the discount could reach up to 40%. Uh, just send us an email on support at B certified pro. So that's the letter B alone certified mm -hmm. pro the name of the company.com. And the support team will take care of you. Just mention that you watched the recording of Marianne, uh, and you will get automatically an additional discount. The technical team will create that coupon code specifically to you and they will email it to you. Just choose whatever package you want. You can visit www.bcertifiedpro.com. Check all the packages that we have, the live training, combo, uh, part one or part two alone, full packages. Mm -hmm. uh, and Or even sign up for our free problem solving sessions. So they are for free just to help everybody pass. You don't even have to pay if you want to still get some uh, added value or some guidance. Yeah, I love that. I love that. Well, you and I will figure out how to get all of that in there. And um, yeah, so we'll take care of anybody who's here. And um, yeah, this, you know, my purpose, again, I get nothing from, from Gabby other than just the the connection, which is so wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. I've missed having the, uh, the live IMA meetings and, and uh, just you know, people Likewise. reaching out and what's going on. So it's so good to um, at least have this as a venue. And and if this goes well and you have time in the future, we'll do it again and um, talk about what, you know, what are some of the hot things that are going on in uh, the, you know, people's careers and how this will help them. And, you know, if you want, we can talk about some of your, your other programs. Definitely. would love to, Marianne. And again, thank you very much for this opportunity, trying to reach those who are struggling and they don't know where to go. That would be uh, the first step, at least, mm -hmm. uh, guide them. And definitely looking forward for more uh, videos. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. All right. End the week on a high note, everybody. And um, thank you again. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.